On behalf of the Board of Directors, we welcome you to this meeting. Chairman Timothy J. Sullivan, Vice Chair Ernest Pettiford, Member Janet R. Trask, Treasurer David Texera, Assistant Treasurer Carol Thomas, uh, Carol Roberts. The Brockton Housing Authority will meet virtually on Thursday, October 28, 2021 at 2 p.m. Due to social distancing guidelines related to COVID-19 state of emergency, this meeting will be held remotely, not at the Brockton Housing Authority's offices. The public is invited to view and or listen to the meeting via phone, computer, laptop, or tablet. To do so, download the Zoom Cloud Meeting app in any app store or at www.zoom.us. At 2 p.m. on October 28, 2021, click on and join the meeting, the meeting and enter meeting ID, ID number 848-5585-0398, passcode 964-431, or use the link http zoom.us. You may also join by calling conference line at 1-646-558-8656 at 2 p.m. on October 28, 2021. To enter the meeting, same ID 848-5585-0398, passcode 964431, followed by the pound sign. The board chair will instruct participants on the appropriate time and manner for public comment during the meeting. I got to read off the Governor Baker's COVID-19. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and state of emergency, on March 12, 2020, Governor Baker issued an executive order temporarily suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. General Laws Chapter 30A, Section 20, Pursuant to the order, public bodies are temporarily relieved from the open meeting laws requirement that meetings be held in public places, open and physically accessible to the public, so long as measures are taken to ensure public access to the body's deliberations through adequate and alternative means. That letter was uh, updated on April 1st, 2021 and extended to April 1st, 2022. <clears throat> Tom, I got to do the, the roll call for the quorum, and then you can do the regular roll call. Yes, sir. Tim Sullivan is here. Ernest Pettiford. Here. Janet Trask. Janet, you're on mute. Here. David Texera. Here. Carol Roberts. Here. We have a quorum. Do we could all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item one, roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Commissioner Roberts, you're on mute. Here. Commissioner Texera. Here. Commissioner Trask. Here. Commissioner Pettiford. Here. And Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Here. 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 Item two. Here. Item two. Here. Approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of September 23rd, 2021, as written. Any questions or discussion on the minutes? I have reviewed them, Mr. Chairman, and found them to be in order. I would recommend that they be accepted as written. We need a motion from somebody. So move. Second. Second. A motion has been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, seconded by Commissioner Ernest Pettiford. Motion is to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of September 23rd, 2021, as written. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor by show of hands. Uh, uh, roll call, Mr. Chairman. Uh, on, okay, so, roll call. Uh, Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Item three, hearing of visitors. 
any member of the public is invited to speak before the board. Visitors wishing to be heard will be allowed three minutes to speak on each subject. The board will take any usual under advisement and respond at a later date. Total time for hearing of visitors will be limited to 15 minutes. Is there any hearing of visitors? If there are any visitors that would like to be heard, please unmute this time, identify yourself and let the board know that you'd like the item you'd like to speak on. I do not see anybody who's expressing interest to, to speak, Mr. Chairman. Okay, item four, okay. correspondence. Mr. Thibault? There is no correspondence this, uh, this month. Item five, approval of the bills of the regular meeting of October 28, 2021, item B in your packets. Commissioner Tectero? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I did have a, uh, and the review we did, we had a few questions that was asked, and I will make a motion to approve the bill of the regular meeting of October 28, 2021, as presented. Second. A motion has been made by Commissioner David Texero, seconded by Commissioner Carol Roberts. Motion is the approval of the bills of the regular meeting of October 28, 2021, as written. Any questions or discussions on the motion? Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Thibault. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Item six, review of financial comparative. Items in your packets, Mr. Thibault. I'll ask Mr. Uh, Patience to give his last report on the finances for the Brockton Housing Authority. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so what you have in front of you is the uh, first eight months or eight months of our fiscal year. Um, basically, all the programs are running according to, to what we had um, forecasted at the beginning of the year. Um, you will notice that the Section 8 has, has a um, deficit, but that's only because of CARES Act funding and and once that deficit, uh, once we get to the end of the year, um, that money, that deficit will actually turn into a small surplus. So um, the uh, 689 programs are, are hanging in there as well as the state. So um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Just one question. Well, I'll ask you a comment, Michael. Sure. I hate to see you leave. We <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, perfect. It's, it's a tough decision. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a wonderful run here and, and Mr. Tebow and Mr. Plouffe have been fantastic and Brockton Housing Authority is, is lucky to have leaders like them. Um, so I, I really uh, appreciate their patience over the years and, and I was just glad to have such a good run here for seven years. So thank you very much. You said seven years flew right by. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It seems like a year. Yeah. <laughs> Who said it? The days are long and the years are short. Right. <laughs> we need a motion item six from anybody. I'll move. And a second. From anybody. I'm a second bit. A motion has been made by Commissioner David Texera, seconded by Commissioner Ernest Pettiford, to accept the review of financial comparators as written with one deficit. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Item seven, acceptance of resignation of Michael Pacius, Chief Financial Officer. Item D in your packets, Mr. Thibault. I don't know if you don't accept it, maybe he can't leave. <laughs> um, 
I, I say that in jest, but Michael has been wonderful to work with. He's been an important part of our team and we, we wish him the best um, and, and uh, appreciate everything he's done for the Brockton Housing Authority in the time that we've been here. He will remain a friend of the Brockton Housing Authority. He will. He still lives in East Bridgewater and he uh, will be working in Medford. So kind of a crazy commute. So we'll see him driving by. <laughs> We need a motion item seven from anybody. I make a motion to accept with great regret the resignation of Michael Pacious, Chief yeah. Financial <laughs> Officer, effective October 29th, 2021. That's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. In a second. I can... Was that a second, David? I, I cut you yes, off. Yes, we was second. Okay. A motion has been made by Commissioner Janet Trask, seconded by Commissioner David Texera. Motion is to accept with regret the resignation of Michael Pacious, Chief Financial Officer, effective October 29, 2021. Roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Commissioner Sullivan. Yes. Motion carries. Unanimous. Good luck, Michael. Thank you very much. You've all been wonderful, and Brockton Housing Authority is a great organization to work for. And I'm you glad can stay. <laughs> we've tried. I, I, we've tried, Mr. Sullivan, Chairman Sullivan. We've tried. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you all. It's been wonderful working here. We're I've, even, uh, I've threatened to put roofing nails in front of his tires so he can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Brockton's human resources uh, retention policy, huh? <laughs> Item eight, approval of fiscal year 21, 2021 state operating budgets, revision number one, 400-C, 689-1, 689-2, and MRVP programs. Item E in your packets, Mr. Tebow. Well, Mr. Pacious's uh, resignation doesn't take effect till tomorrow at 4.30, so I'm going to ask him to speak on this, please. Thank you. Um, so what you have in front of you is that due to some um, the DHCD, DHCD regulations with regard to how the budgets are um, uh, set up and how they progress throughout the year, we had to make some changes to line items, um, moving some things around and, and so forth, um, just to satisfy their uh, regulatory requirements. So um, they're not very big numbers um, in relation to the total um, budget itself, but you know, again, it's it's required by DHCD at this time of year. Um, so if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you. We need a motion item eight. From anybody? So move. Yeah. Yeah. A second? Second. A motion has been made by Commissioner David Texera, seconded by Commissioner Carol Roberts. Motion that the proposed operating budget revision number one for state aided housing of the Brockton Housing Authority program numbered 400 for fiscal year ending December 31st, 2021 showing total revenue of $2,503,391 and total expenses of $2,445,646, thereby requesting a subsidy of $1,037,654 and further that the executive director's total annual salary of $175,584 for fiscal year ending December 31st, 2021 be submitted to the Department of Housing and Community Development for its review and approval. Any questions on the motion or discussion? Roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. If someone just came on with a phone number, 978, could you mute, please? Uh, 
Tom. Yes, sir. I didn't realize it was three other recommended actions. Do you want me to yes. read those off? Yes, please. That's all part of the same motion. Recommended action motion is that the proposed operating budget revision number one for state aided housing of the Brockton Housing Authority's program number 689-1 for fiscal year ending December 31st, 2021, showing total revenue of $44,340 and total expenses of $55,040, thereby requesting a subsidy of zero and further that the executive director's total annual salary of 175,584 for fiscal year ending December 31st, 2021, be submitted to the Department of Housing and Community Development for its review and approval. Any questions on the motion? Roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Recommended action, motion that the proposed operating budget revision number one for state aided housing of the Brockton Housing Authority, program number 689-2 for fiscal year ending December 31st, 2021, showing a total revenue of $27,238 and total expenses of $33,238, thereby requesting a subsidy of zero and further that the executive director's total annual salary of 175,584, no change, for fiscal year ending December 31st, 2021, be submitted to the Department of Housing and Community Development for its review and approval. Roll call, Mr. Chivo. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Motion that the proposed operating budget revision number one for state aided housing of the Brockton Housing Authority's program numbered MRVP for fiscal year ending December 31st, 2021, showing total revenue of 146,000 and total expenses of $195,589, <laughs> thereby requesting a subsidy of zero and further that the executive director's total annual salary of 175,584, zero cents, for fiscal year ending December 31st, 2021, be submitted to the Department of Housing and Community Development for its review and approval. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Thiebaud. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Item nine, a motion carries unanimous. Item nine, approval of resolution number 21-06, resolution approving fiscal year 2021 federal operating budget revision number one, section eight housing choice voucher program exhibit F in your packets. Mr. Thiebaud. Mr. Patius, would you speak on this, please? Sure. Um, <clears throat> so because we made some changes on onto the Section 8 budget with regard to positions and, and so forth, um, and it actually um, affected the, the state budget, it, it was proper that we um, just put this revision through um, for the Section 8 program. So. We need a motion, item nine. From anybody. Okay. So moved. And a second. second. <laughs> a motion has been made by Commissioner Janet Tress. Trask, seconded by Commissioner David Tectera. Motion is to approve resolution number 21-06, resolution approving fiscal year 2021 operating budget, revision number one, section eight housing choice voucher program. Any questions or discussions on the motion? Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Thiebaud. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Tectera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. 
Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. Commissioner Sullivan. Yes. Motion carries. Unanimous. Item 10, award of contract, protective and social services, exhibit G in your packets, Mr. Tebow. Um, I'm excited to get this uh, contract up and going again. Uh, Brockton is very unique, the Brockton Housing Authority and what we're doing with security here and what we've done in the past. So we have our security actually administered by a social service agency because of, of two things. One is crime is usually a, a socioeconomic issue. We have to keep our people safe and we have to address those issues. But it's also important that we provide programming and supports for our residents so that they don't, um, so those issues can be addressed. Uh, so we uh, did bid this out. Uh, we received a response from family and community resources. They are uniquely qualified to do this. They have provided us with this service in the past. Um, so I would make a recommendation that we approve the contract between family and community resources and the Brockton Housing Authority um, for a five-year period. So moved. Need a motion. What was that? So move. With Carol. Yes. Second. 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 A motion has been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, seconded by <clears throat> Commissioner Ernest Pettiford. Motion is to approve con a contract between Family and Community Resources Incorporated of Brockton, Mass, and the Brockton Housing Authority for a five year, 60 month agreement beginning November 1st, 2021, and ending October 31st, 2026, for an amount not to exceed $550,000. Any questions or discussion on the motion? <laughs> Is that the same pretty much as we've always done? It is. It was uh, what Jack Hill worked under. Uh, when Jack Hill passed, we did not um, uh, renew the contract. So we had to go out and uh, procure it again. So yes, it is. And so that, and in the past, they've come in and provided training to our staff, including our maintenance on domestic violence. They've responded during issue, uh, situations where we've had trauma in our, our places. Uh, so again, it uh, provides uh, not only a overall security uh, system, but a uh, social service uh, net. And has there been any increase in, in incidents with, with the pandemic? And from, from what every, everything you read, it, it's domestic violence is up yes. all over the country. D domestic violence, uh, we don't usually hear about. It's a hidden uh, thing that's why, why we do this with uh, family community resources. They'll come in and establish ways to contact people. Remember, most of the people who are involved with domestic violence, uh, I shouldn't say most, often the abuser is not supposed to be at, on, on the property. So it's hidden from us. Um, we try to uh, set up systems that they can report it other ways without, uh, without coming to us just because that hasn't been very successful. Uh, but crime overall is up, violence is up in general. And do you use the same security group that you do in all the other housing buildings? We, uh, well, we just uh, renewed that, uh, not renewed it, went out and got a new contract with, I have an invoice here, with Jet Security. They're in all of the elderly high rises. Okay, and, and for family and community also, or that's different? No, that's different. Family and community will provide a uh, coordinator who will work with the police, will work with the asset managers, the service coordinators, uh, and all other social service providers. Any more questions or discussion? Item 11. We need a motion and a second. So move on that item. And a second. Second. A motion has been made by Commissioner, Commissioner Ernest Pettiford, seconded by Commissioner Carol Roberts. Motion is to award a three year contract in the amount not to exceed $150,000. $550,000. I 
Well, I think uh, Commissioner Sullivan. Oh. I'm on the wrong one. Okay, that was the wrong one. Motion to approve contract between Family and Community Resources Incorporated of Brockton, Mass, and the Brockton Housing Authority for a five year, 60 month agreement beginning November 1st, 2021, and ending October 31st, 2026, for an amount not to exceed $550,000. Any other questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none. Roll call, Mr. Thibault. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. Mr. Chairman. Yes. A water contract. On call tree trimming and removal services. Exhibit H in your packets. Mr. Thibault. Never has there been a more timely procurement. Uh, Mr. De Christopher, could you speak on this, please? Afternoon, everyone. Everyone, uh, this is this contract is for uh, on-call tree trimming and removal. On uh, September 27, 2021, the Brockton Housing Authority advertised for qualified tree trimming and removal contractors for work that cannot be performed by current staff. This work was to be awarded to two responsive and responsible bidders that met the qualifications set in the bid packet. This is a three-year contract, not to exceed $150,000 over the duration of the contract. On October 13th, 2021, the submission deadline, we received one bid as reflected in the bid tally sheet. The low and responsive, only responsive bidder was Northeast's Tree Service of Rhode Island. Bids were advertised in Central Register, Combines, and the Enterprise. Three companies received bid packs, and one, one bid was submitted, and that was Northeastern Tree Service of Rhode Island. I recommend, motion, I recommend a motion be made to award the contract in the amount not to exceed $150,000 to Northeastern Tree Service of Cranston, Rhode Island. We need a motion and a second from anybody. So moved. Second. A motion has been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, seconded by Commissioner Janet Trask. Motion is to award a three-year contract in the amount not to exceed $150,000 to Northeast Tree Service of Cranston, Rhode Island for on-call tree trimming and removal services, which, by the way, was a low bid. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Is it harder to get people in this business? It seems like it. I'm, I'm just surprised we didn't get have more people bid on it. Uh, yeah. I don't know what, what the reason is. They're extremely busy, extremely busy at all times. So, I can, especially after yesterday, yeah. I can say one thing with this company because they they were on a they were our contract for the previous contract. Well, I called them yesterday morning at seven thirty for that tree. Then went through the roof at Golden Circle, and they were on site within an hour and a half from Rhode Island. So, and they got the tree out of the off the roof. Wow! And, it, and that so they they were very responsive. Roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Item 12, award of contracts, snow removal services, affordable housing properties, exhibit I in the packets. Mr. Tebow. Can I ask uh, Mr. Uh, Pluff to speak on this, please. Thank you, Mr. Tebow, members of the board. Um, we needed to go out for affordable housing snow removal for our 50 scattered site properties um, as the last uh, contract had expired. Um, we published in the uh, Enterprise and the Central Register and Combis. Um, we had four uh, pickup proposals, uh, SSE Landscape, JAS Landscape, BM Lawns, and Fairway Lawn and Care. The only one to submit a proposal was uh, Fairway Lawn. Um, the evaluation criteria uh, 
is included in my memo uh, plus their pricing. And I'm asking that the uh, board uh, authorize the executive director to enter into a uh, three-year contract for snow removal for the affordable housing sites with fairway lawn care, effective November 1st. You need a motion and a second? Second it. Was that the motion, Ernie, or a second? I make a motion, I'm sorry. <laughs> second. Oh. And a second. A motion has been made by Commissioner Ernest Pettiford, seconded by Commissioner Cal Robbins. Motion is no. to authorize Thomas G. Tebow as the executive director to enter into a three-year contract with Fairway Lawn Care Corporation, DBA Fairway Landscaping for snow removal services for the affordable housing properties, effective November 1, 2021. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Tim, I didn't second that. That was Janet. Oh, sorry. The motion was made by Commissioner Ernest Pettiford, seconded by Janet, Commissioner Janet Trask. Any questions on the motion or discussion? Roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Item 13, appointment of Director of Asset Management, Exhibit J in your packet, Mr. Tebow. Um, before I ask Mr. Pluff to speak on this, um, this position is extremely important to the future of the Brockton Housing Authority. Now we have had property managers for years and property managers are the people who do the lease enforcement, rent collection, leasing up of the units, or, um, overall, uh, in, security interaction with the residents. Asset, an asset manager or a director of asset manager is looking at where the properties stand today, where they'll stand tomorrow, how to uh, make, uh, make sure that uh, we're getting the proper finances for this. Um, and as we move forward into the new financing of our uh, sites, this person will be extremely important in the success of those programs. Um, so I'll turn it over to Mr. Pluff now to speak about the process and then I'll have a word or two to say afterwards. Thank you, Mr. Tebow, members of the board. Um, we advertised and posted internally. Uh, we advertised with the enterprise online in the mass narrow um, page that they have for classifieds that are read by all uh, housing Authority personnel throughout the state, the Taunton Gazette, Patriot Ledger, uh, looking for a uh, director of asset management. Um, and this position has been vacant for a while. Uh, the screening committee of uh, Mr. Tebow and myself reviewed the resumes and cover letters of the six applicants we received. We decided to interview five, one withdrew. We interviewed the other four. Um, we brought two back for a second interview. And after that, we agreed that Mr. Sheedy uh, was the superior candidate for the job. Uh, Mr. Sheedy's been in the affordable public housing management arena. Or I won't say management, he started out as a maintenance man, then became a maintenance supervisor. So he has experience on that side of the house, then became the uh, property manager at Hamilton Wade and Douglas. There he did the whole shop, um, did the hiring, did the procurement, did the firing, um, was in charge of maintenance, was in charge of modernization, was in charge of writing grants, was in charge of procurement. He was there when uh, working with the city, uh, we tore down all those dilapidated buildings on Spring Street and made that beautiful park that's there uh, at Hamilton Wade. Uh, working with the city. Um, and then he came to the Brockton Housing Authority in 2014. Since coming to the Housing Authority, he's moved up from an asset manager two to an asset manager one to a regional asset manager, where he is responsible for a number of uh, 
units and the development here in Brockton plus the Abington Housing Authority. Um, and I forgot to say, while Mr. Sheeta was working at Hamilton Wade and Douglas, he uh, went back to school nights, uh, got his bachelor's degree from uh, Stonehill. So he has lots of experience doing this type of work, uh, supervising people. Um, and I, I, for one, am excited that uh, he'll be taking over this, this role to lead our team of asset managers, family self-sufficiency, security, and resident service coordinators. That's a big job. And as I say, it's a big and important job uh, to the future. I have spoken heart to heart with Mr. Sheedy um, about this, about how big the job is and our expectations of it. And I believe uh, he can meet that criteria. So I, I concur with Mr. Clough. Just one question, Tom Clough. Yes. You mentioned uh, self-sufficiency coordinator. Um, that's coming up. Uh, but this person would supervise the self-sufficiency coordinator. Okay. We need a motion, item 13. So and moved. Second. second. Was that you, David? Yes, sir. And Carol? Yeah. A motion has been made by Commissioner David Taxera, seconded by Commissioner Carol Roberts. Motion is to appoint Dennis Sheedy of Eastern Mass to the position of as Director of Asset Management at the annual salary of $102,000, effective November 1st, 2021. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Very impressive resume, Dennis. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions or discussion? Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Thibault. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Welcome aboard. I know you've already been here, Dennis. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank where you. Will, where will your office be, Dennis? You can't take them away. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mention that, that uh, the commissioner, he was the... Uh, manager in her building for a number of years now. So um, now where? That, that's to be decided, uh, uh, Commissioner Trask. Uh, I would like him to be out in the region. I don't want him to be at Goddard Road and stuck as part of downtown. Uh, I want him out in the field with um, the other departments that are, are working in the field. So we're gonna find him a spot. And, and Dennis, let me read this off to you. I know you've already been here for a while, but I read it off to everybody who comes in or a promotion. And keep in mind that anyone can have a bad day. If someone jumps down your throat, just walk away. Remember, without them, we don't need you and they don't need me. They are uh, number one. Welcome aboard, Dennis. Thank you. No, we would shake your hand. We can't. Dennis, I don't know if you know what you got yourself into. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to find out. You're about to find out, but it, it, there's a lot of exciting things happening. Dennis is an important, this position is an important part of that. And I'm sure he'll grow into that responsibility as is so many other here, so many other people here at the authority. So thank you very much for the support of the board. Item 14. Appointment of Family Self-Sufficiency Coordinator, Exhibit K in your packets, Mr. Tebow. Well, I'm going to say something before Mr. Pluff this time. He, I, I'd probably say all the good stuff, but I worked with uh, Ms. Milne since she started here. She started as a receptionist at the authority. She then went over to Bel Air and was a, uh, a clerk over there working with the residents and did a, a fabulous job there. Uh, she has a background in credit counseling and has brought that along and has, has been great working with our residents all along the way. She's assisted uh, Ms. McDonough um, over the last seven or eight years. I don't know exactly. I'm sure I could look it up, Linda, but uh, and done a great job there. Uh, and during her interview, she was fabulous. She uh, understands what we want to do and how we want to support people. Uh, and she knows the people. She, she comes from 
um, the heart when she's dealing with them, but she's got a very rational mind also. So she knows the numbers. So uh, I'm happy to uh, be involved in recommending her for this position. And sorry, Mr. Pluff, I'll let you say something. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Tebow, members of the board. Um, we did, besides posting internally for this position, we advertised in the Taunton Gazette, Patriot Ledger and online, uh, 10 resumes were received. And even after reviewing the resumes and cover letters, uh, Mr. Tebow and I, and interviewing uh, four candidates, it was clear that uh, Linda was, was tops. I was saying to somebody today, we're having this uh, electricity emergency that uh, early on in my career here at the Housing Authority, there was a fire at Bel Air. And it was a late Friday afternoon. I was the only one around. Richard was gone and Mr. Tebow was down the Cape for his uh, yearly vacation. And, and Linda knew every person. She knew where they were. If somebody wasn't in their apartment and we were looking for them because their apartment was being flooded, she said, oh, I know, they hang out with Mrs. Jones in 704. Do you remember this, Lynn? And we'd go and find Mrs. Jones and she'd come back to her apartment. It was great. It was unbelievable. She knew every person at that development, knew their, uh, their friends and their habits. And, uh, and she's taken that right over to uh, family self-sufficiency. And she treats each one of the people that are in that program uh, very well and helps them to, uh, to succeed. We need a motion. So move. Second. second. Who made that second? Ernie? No. no David. 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 Okay. Who made the, the motion? It was. Uh, I can't. It's hard to tell them this. I believe Carol Roberts made the motion, and uh, yeah. Commissioner Dex Sexera made the second. Okay. A motion has been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, seconded by Commissioner David Texera. Motion to appoint Linda Milney of Brockton, Mass., to the position of Family Self Sufficiency Coordinator at the 2021 Step One rate of $59,823 per annum, effective November 1st, 2021. Any questions or discussion on the motion? I just want to say, Lindy, looks like you've taken advantage of every possible course and yeah. and uh, certificate that you possibly could, and it's it's very admirable. You've been all over the place, Madison, Wisconsin, and and Orange County, and everywhere. And also, um, you have tough shoes to fill with Cynthia, but I know you're a real people's person, just like Cynthia was, and we know that the housing authority is in good hands. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment to say thank you, and I look forward to working with with everyone and continuing a successful family self sufficiency program moving forward. I know I have big shoes to fill, but I'm ready for it. Good. Thank you. Any other questions or discussion? Item fourteen. A roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Linda, let me read off the same thing I read off to everybody. Keep in, I know you've been here before. Keep in mind that anyone can have a bad day. If someone jumps down your throat, please just walk away. Don't argue with them. Remember that without them, we don't need you, or they don't need me. They are our number one. Welcome aboard. Normally, we would shake your hand. Thank you. We can't do it. There we do. Yeah. Item 15, appointment of maintenance office aid, exhibit L in your packets. Mr. Tebow? So uh, we are... Um, putting forth the name of Bernice Kajagas. Uh, Bernice actually was with us uh, back before I came to the Housing Authority. Uh, she then decided to leave and went south 
And uh, then like most people came back, said, you know, New England's the best place to be. Um, she is, uh, has worked in the maintenance department for a number of years now. She does a fabulous job with our residents. Um, I hear her on the phone, but I often see her down just talking to the residents uh, in the community room here or in the resident room or out front when they have a question or a concern or they just need someone to talk to. Uh, she does a great job with that. She's worked very closely uh, with Mr. DeChristopher and I think she uh, will do great in this, uh, this new position. So Mr. Plouffe, I don't know if you have anything to add or Mr. DeChristopher. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Tebow, members of the board. Um, this position has been vacant since uh, Linda Napoli uh, left us uh, a number of years ago. Um, and during that period, I would say the only constant in the maintenance department was Bernice. There was a lot of coming and going and she held that department together. Um, so in, that, in the meantime, uh, there was a new director, a new office manager, a new clerk, and now we have a new maintenance office aide uh, proposed to the board. Uh, Bernice has uh, worked down in the maintenance department since 2014, as Mr. Tebow said in this go around, uh, works great with our uh, residents, knows our HAB system and work order system very well, uh, took it upon herself to uh, be the person responsible to call out <coughs> our um, maintenance men for snowplow duties. Um, and so we, we can't uh, more highly recommend Ms. Kajigas for this position. We need a motion and a second, item 15. So move. Second. Motion has been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, seconded by Commissioner Janet Trask. Motion is to appoint Bernice Kajigas of Fall River, Mass, to the position of maintenance office aide at the 2021 step one rate of $49,065 per annum, effective November 1st, 2021. Did I get that name right, Kajigas? It's Kajigas. Kajigas. Close. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Texera? Yes. Commissioner Trask? Yes. Commissioner Pettiford? Yes. And Mr. Chairman? Yes. Motion carries unanimous. That's a tough job. I'm sure you're up for it. Yes, I am. Bernice, I'll be real quick with you. Just keep in mind that our tenants are number one. Always. We need them. Yes. Without them, they don't need us. That's true. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Yep. Carol's clapping. In yes, camera. I'm clapping. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. Item 16. Appointment of maintenance working foreman. Exhibit M in your packets, Mr. Keeble. So over the last couple of days, I've witnessed, and I've, I've seen this for years, but in the storms, it always comes out that the maintenance department goes out and they, they put together a team and it's almost like going into battle. And I, I saw that yesterday. Uh, Mr. Uh, Christopher has put together a great team. They're working uh, as a team to, to serve our, our residents. They've knocked the... Um, the work orders way down. They have uh, taken care of the turnaround units and all, all sorts of special projects. And uh, in doing that, he, Mr. Uh, De Christopher has relied on um, some of his senior staff and um, the people we're putting forward are two people who, regardless of position, have been integral in getting what we need done, done in a timely manner. So with that, I'll turn it over to, to Mr. Plouffe and Mr. De Christopher. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tebow. Um, in June, we posted internally to fill the position of uh, maintenance working foreman. We received uh, eight resumes. 
committee of uh, Mr. De Christopher, Mr. Tebow, and myself decided to interview all the candidates. All, they were all internal candidates. One candidate decided to withdraw. After the interviews, we brought four back for a second interview. After the second interview, there was a multiple choice test that Mr. De Christopher uh, put together based upon uh, common maintenance scenarios. Uh, it was a multiple choice test. Um, after the interviews and scoring the results, we reached consensus. Uh, and Mr. De Christopher is very high on Mr. Demoulis, who leads his vacancy preparation crew. Mr. Demoulis is an assistant foreman now. Um, he was hired in 2002. He's a uh, Marine Corps veteran. Um, and as the leader of the vacancy and special projects crew, he's the, the leader of the team that Mr. De Christopher, I, I'll let him talk about it, but he'll call and say, hey, we need this done. Can you get this done? And, and Bob always gets it done. So I'll let Mr. De Christopher talk about that. I've worked for Bob for many years and, and he's one of the most uh, reliable um, uh, people I've worked with. He's always there when you need him. He's done multiple jobs for us, uh, like special projects and the vacancy crew. Um, we work well together and I'm looking forward to it. We need a motion, item 16. So moved. From anybody? Second it. A motion has been made by Commissioner Janet Trust, seconded by Commissioner David Texera. Motion is to appoint Robert DeMoulis of West Bridge Automat to the position of maintenance working foreman at the 2021 step one rate of $40.36 per hour, effective November 1st, 2021. Any <clears throat> questions or discussion on the motion? We love veterans. Just one, Tom. The, the camera is so far back, you can't even see them. I can barely, I can barely see the two people. We didn't want to break my the eyes. System. He said he didn't want to break the camera. It worked. <laughs> Any questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none, oh. roll call, Mr. Thibault. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. They Bob, look can you hear like me they're okay? in court. <laughs> I'm just going to read off the same thing to everybody else. I know you've already been here, but keep it in mind that anyone can have a bad day. If somebody jumps down your throat, please just walk away. Remember that without them, they don't need you or me. Welcome aboard, Bob. Thank you very much. Yeah. Item 17, appointment of maintenance working foreman. Exhibit N in your packets, Mr. Thibault. Um, I, I said what I said before about both gentlemen, so I'll turn it right over to uh, Mr. Pluff and maybe a comment after that. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tebow, members of the board. Um, during the same process that we used to uh, um, fill the last position, uh, we were looking for a second maintenance working foreman. Uh, again, Mr. Carbonara was one of the ones we brought back for a second interview and given the opportunity to take the, uh, uh, the multiple choice test. Uh, Mr. Carbonara has several licenses and certificates that uh, the Housing Authority uses, including his CDL license and his hoisting license, um, where he is our, our heavy equipment operator um, that we use here at the Housing Authority. He's a uh, lead mechanic. He's uh, stationed right now on the state side at um, Crosby Gardens, uh, which always has a very, very low amount of outstanding work orders. Um, uh, whenever we have meetings with the asset managers, his managers uh, rave about the work he does. Um, 
and I will, I have attached his uh, resume uh, for your review. And uh, Mr. De Christopher, if you'd like to add anything. Sure. Um, thank you. Just uh, like Tom, uh, like Bob, I've worked with Tommy for many years and the three of us have always worked together as a um, very well together, uh, organized. Tommy's uh, a really a good worker, always willing to learn. Um, he hosts a ton of talent. And I think in this position, he's going to, him and Bob are going to do fabulous. And it will be a great asset to the uh, maintenance staff. So Just watch a, out. They're all buddies, the three yeah. of them. <laughs> Well, I have to give Mr. De Christopher some credit there. He he can be a, coll a colleague at one moment and a boss the next. So he understands the responsibility. Uh, and for uh, Mr. Carbonara, I get uh, just great reports back from the residents at Washburn Heights, Crosby Gardens, and over at uh, the Ann Ward House. So uh, it's very important. I know it's very important to you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, Mr. Carbonara has taken it very seriously in his uh, assignment there. And you Next built the library at so Campello so. High Rise? Yes. That's, that's very commendable. We need a motion in a second from anybody? So move, please. In a second? Second. second. Was that Carol? The second? Who got in there before me? I don't yeah. know. Okay, yeah. A motion has been made by Commissioner Ernest Pettiford, seconded by Commissioner Carol Roberts. Motion to appoint Thomas Cabanara of West Wareham, Mass, to the position of maintenance working forming at the 2021 step one rate of $40.36 per hour, 36 cents per hour, effective November 1, 2021. Roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Uh, Chairman. Yes. Hang on one second. <laughs> this is probably a good part of Zoom. You get to see the people's pets, hear them. <laughs> <laughs> The boss was speaking. <laughs> I, I saw something on the internet the other day, a, uh, a Zoom bingo card. And one of the, the boxes was, you know, get to see uh, uh, family members or pets of somebody. So we could cross that one off. <laughs> I'm back. That's a brand new dog, Tom. I don't know why she's barking. Oh, it's a puppy? It, it's not a it's a, a puppy to us, Janet. It was one of the Sully and Kelly's puppies from nine years ago. Oh, we got it back. Ah, oh, nice. Item eighteen. Oh, I don't know if you wanted to say anything to Mr. Cabanara. We uh, just uh, oh, approved. is he still there? Yeah. He's still here. Oh, they, I'm sorry. They they're moving around. <laughs> Tommy, you're so small. We can't even see you. Keep in mind that anyone can have a bad day. If somebody jumps on your throat, just please walk away. Remember that without them, as residents, we don't need any maintenance men. They don't need me. Would you keep that in mind? Yes. Welcome aboard, Tommy. Thank you. Item 18. Approval of certificate of final completion, boiler and domestic hot water replacement in Ward Congregate House, Project 667-5. Exhibit O in your packets. Mr. Thibault. If I could ask Mr. Barry to speak on this, please. Thank you, Mr. Thibault. Uh, on the 29th, June 29th, uh, CEA Carly Engineer and the engineer firm representing the authority deemed Gilly Owen Plumbing and Heat and Services, the prime contractor performing the Boiler and domestic hot water replacement at 6675 and Ward House to be complete as per the plans and specifications that were dated November 21st, 2020. All required documents, warranties, and as built have been received. We would recommend to accept the final completion as of June 29th, 2021 from Gilly Owned Plumbing and Heat Services 
Incorporated of 31 Staff Road, Saugus, Mass. For CAP Hub number 044091 for 667-5 and Woodhouse Boiler and Domestic Hot Water Replacement. We need a motion and a second. So anybody? So move. Second. A motion has been made by Commissioner David Texera. Seconded by Commissioner Janet Trask. Motion is to approve the certificate of final completion effective June 29th, 2021 to the contract with Gillion Plumbing and Heating Services Incorporated of Saugus, Mass for the boiler and domestic hot water re replacement project at the Ann Ward Congregate House, project 667-5. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none. Roll call, Mr. Thibault. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And yeah, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Item 19, a motion carries unanimous. Item 19, approval of change order number two, HVAC improvement and roof replacement, Richard J. Sergi building, administration building, exhibit oh. P in your packet. If I could ask Mr. Barry to speak on this, please. Thank you, Mr. Thiebaud. Uh, this change order number two is for the deletion of occupancy sensors um, for the fan-cooled units in the lower level at the, the bank building. Uh, we would recommend uh, to delete the occupancy sensors at this time due to the low volume of activity in the lower level. Uh, we would recommend to approve the change order in the amount of $685.26, a deletion of $685.26 to Apex Corp of 56 Charles Street, Edmonton, Mass, um, at the Richard J. Sergi Administrative Building. We need a motion and a second from anybody. Moved. Second, if motion has been made by Commissioner Janet Trask, seconded by Commissioner Carol Roberts. Motion to approve change order number two in the amount of minus $685.26 to the contract with Apex Corporation of Abington, Mass. for HVAC improvements and roof replacement at the Richard J. Sergi Administration Building. Any discussion or questions on the motion? Was that a question, Tony? I didn't get it. No, no questions. Hearing none. Motion carries unanimous. I roll call, Mr. Thibault. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Item 20, approval of certificate of completion, consolidated and certificate of release, HVAC improvements and roof replacement, Richard J. Sergi Administration Building, Exhibit Q in your packets. Mr. Thibault. Again, if I could ask Mr. Uh, Barry to speak on this. Mr. Thibault. Uh, McKinnell, McKinnell and Taylor, the firm representing the authority has deemed Apex Corp of 56 Charles Street in Abington, Mass to be complete as of September 30th, 2021 at the Richard J. Sergi Administration Building for the HVAC improvements and roof replacement project <clears throat> as per the plans and specification. Uh, McKinnell, mm -hmm. McKinnell and Taylor has also confirmed that the construction work meets all applicable codes and that Apex Corp has completed all punch list items. We would recommend to approve the certificate of completion consolidated and the certificate of re release for the HVAC improvements and roof replacement project at the Richard J. Sergi building, administration building, sorry. We need a motion and a second. Commissioner Barry. Yes. Who moved that? It's hard to hear on this computer. I got the Ernie Pettiford second. Dave, Dave moved it. And then Ernie. I got that. 
A motion has been made by David Texera, seconded by Ernest Pettifit. Motion is to approve change order number two in the amount of. Uh, that's the wrong one. We already did that one. The motion is to approve certificate of completion consolidated in certificate of release effective September 30, 2021, to the contrast of Apex Corporation of Abington, Mass. Mass for the HVAC improvements and roof replacement at the Richard J. Sergi Administration Building. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Item 21, award of contract, architectural and engineering design services, modernization of units, Campello High Rise, section 18, exhibit R in your packets. Mm -hmm. So this is a very exciting item. Uh, as you know, we have applied for and received approval of a section 18 um, demolition disposition application for the Campello High Rise. Um, the next step in that process, and we have a number of people here from um, this uh, contractor, um, is to put together some plans that address the issues, and then we bring them to market um, for financing. Uh, so um, we, uh, I'll let Mr. Barry speak on the, the process. Uh, we think we have a top notch, it's two firms, um, uh, that have uh, put together a proposal for us, um, Dietz and Company and BWA Architects uh, for the design um, of the work that will be done at the Camp Hall High Rise. A very creative group, very experienced group, and uh, we look forward to, to uh, moving forward on this. Mr. Barry. Thank you, Mr. Tebow. Uh, in, front, in response to the capital improvements request for proposal for architectural engineer and design services dated on July 28, 2021, the authority received three qualified proposals. This RFP is for the design services for the construction or conversion of Campello high rise development from public housing to section 18 housing. The selection committee of uh, Thomas Tebow, Thomas Plouffe, Nancy Macedo, Tim Smith, and myself examine and rank the three proposals based on their demonstrated experience in similar pro, uh, public housing projects, staff capabilities, and the ability of the three firms were interviewed um, by the selection committee. After all the proposals were ranked, references, checks, and interviews complete, the selection committee unanimously selected a decent company, architects, and uh, associated BWA architecture as the most advantageous to the Brockton Housing Authority. We would recommend a motion to award a contract in a not to exceed amount of $6,193,000 to decent company architects and uh, slash BWA architecture for design services for the modernization of the Campello High Rise Apartments, section 18. We need a motion and a second from somebody. Uh, so move. And a second. second. A motion has been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, seconded by Commissioner David Texera. Motion to award a contract in a not to exceed amount of $6,193,000 to Dietz and Company Architects, BWA Architecture for Design Services for the Modernization of Campo High Rise Apartments, Section 18. Any discussion or questions on the motion? Where is Matterhunt? Oh. The uh, school? Was it? Tom, you're on mute. Did you get that? I apologize. Does anybody uh, from Dietz or from BTA want to answer that question? We do have representatives here. No, oh, get someone here, Carrie Dietz. Um, yeah, hi. Um, could oh. you repeat the question, please? Where is Matterhunt? I have no idea. 
Um, can you tell me what that's in reference to? I don't know my geography very well, clearly. Oh, everything else seems to be kind of local and that's not familiar. That's why I okay. asked. So could you tell, uh, uh, Ms. Deitch, could you tell us a little bit about your firm, tell the board a little bit about your firm? Sure. We are um, 29 people um, and we have over half of us are registered architects. Um, so we're really, really strong. We've been doing affordable housing since 1984. Um, so we've got tons and tons of experience on this. Um, we teamed with BWA. Um, because they, like us, have an incredible amount of experience in doing this work. Um, it's, it's, you know, this is the kind of thing we love to do. And we've been doing a lot of work for the Cambridge Housing Authority. So we've got, you know, tons of experience, especially in high rise. Um, so we're very excited about this. Um, so Matahunt must be one of the consultants. Um, so I'm, I don't have the proposal open in front of me. I apologize. Maybe maybe the commissioner can tell me which consultant you're looking at to, to come up with Matterhunt. It looks like a school. Huh. Okay. What Very I attractive to... school. Okay. That. Hmm. I can't answer that question. Sorry. No <laughs> problem. Beyond my <laughs> beyond my ability. Thank you. <laughs> building. It was your building envelope. So it's probably one of your subcons. Ah, okay. So it's probably one of Gale Consultants um, projects. Yeah. yeah. Matahunt, um, Matahunt Elementary School. Don't know. I'd have to look it up on Google Maps, just like all of you. <laughs> oh. Manahunt Elementary School, the one they redid. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's located in Mattapan, Massachusetts. Thank you, Commissioner Roberts. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can I um, actually uh, suggest, um, uh, and I know that it's probably out of bounds for me to do this, but um, the contract is actually just with us. Um, the uh, BWA is actually a consultant to us. We're the prime on this. Yeah. So that may change your motion a little bit. Yes, yeah, so if, 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 if they are a subcontractor with you, so if BTA does not perform, we'll be talking to you. For um, sure, yeah, that, absolutely. Yeah. Right, okay, now that, that's appropriate. So if we could yeah. amend the motion to um, just eliminate the reference to BWA. Thank you. No for the record, item 21 has been amended. So we, we have to withdraw the, the, the motion and the second for the first one. Carol, you, you made the motion. You got to withdraw it. I have to, oh, withdraw. Okay. Yep. David, you have to withdraw yours. He's muted. Muted, David. Yes. <clears throat> New motion is to award a contract in a not to exceed amount of six million one hundred ninety three thousand to Dietz and Company Architects for modernization of Campello High Rise Apartments Section eighteen. Any questions or discussion on the motion, Kerry? I just have one. Where are you located? Where are you? Springfield, Massachusetts, okay. sitting at my desk. Okay. <laughs> Hearing none, roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. So just uh, before you end, thank you very much. Um, we're really looking forward to this and uh, we're, we're ready to kick it off at any time. So be in touch. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Item 22, Executive Director Report, Exhibit S in your packet, Mr. Tebow. So I, I won't speak to the things that I have in the written report. You have that. If you have any questions, please ask. Um, I'll give you an update on what's happened since the storm uh, occurred. 
Uh, we, given the nature of the storm, we have relatively little damage. Uh, as Mr. De Christopher said, we had a huge tree, huge tree fall on an apartment at Golden Circle. It did pierce the ceiling, the roof and the ceiling of the apartment. It's still habitable. Uh, Mr. Um, De Christopher, and along with the tree company and his staff, uh, got that off. They've also uh, run around the city like madmen with the dump truck cleaning everything up. Um, we are still on the west side of the city, Earl Street, Richmond Street, Kennedy Drive, uh, Bel Air High Rise and Sullivan Towers. We are without power. Uh, we have contacted National Grid in multiple ways using our um, elected uh, officials also to prioritize that. Uh, they have stated that they have brought the hospital back, Good Samaritan, which was out right up until about an hour ago. And now they're working over in that area. So uh, hopefully they'll have that on uh, this, this evening. We do have staff who are in the uh, buildings. They're going floor to floor. Uh, contacting people uh, just to see if they, if they need anything. Um, thank God it's not too cold. Um, we do have some what I call hot uh, generators have hot uh, plugs. Uh, so we have, uh, you know, people are using those to charge up their devices. We put um, bars in there, um, you know, outlet bars so that they could uh, have multiple uh, plugs so that that's working out. Um, as far as I know, as of right now, nobody has been uh, harmed or injured. Uh, oxygen is an issue, and um, but uh, the managers and the service coordinators are working with those items also. So it's supposed to rain on Saturday. That's not good. Um, but we've made it made it this far. It seems to be will we'll, um, it, it a good test of the systems in the city. And Carol never lost uh, her, her power. <laughs> nope. Thank God. Flickered, but not lost. We need a motion item 22 and a second. Uh, so move. Second. The motion's been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, seconded by Commissioner Janet Trask. Motion is to accept the executive director's report and put on file. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Who's the artist that will be working at um, Kennedy Drive? Oh, uh, you have to ask me that question, don't you? I have it in my, my file. It's the artist that we spoke of. Um, oh, good. good. Yeah, from the Y. I didn't know if you had to go outside to, no, outside but, of Brockton. Yeah, uh, unfortunately that, that program is unique. And I, the, so a lot of the stuff that we're doing there, they, when we ask questions, we don't get answers because it's, it's not just an in the box type program. Yeah. So it's staying local. It's staying local, yes. Good, good. Item 23, old business. Did you do a roll call? Tom. Oh, did I, I'm sorry. No, I did not. On the acceptance of the executive director's report. Yeah, item 22. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Motion carries unanimously. Item 23. <laughs> old business. None. Any old business? Hearing none, item 24, new business. I have one item, so I just wanted to mention the meeting is uh, November 18th, the next meeting. Thank you very much. Any other new business? Hearing none, item 25. No holiday party, correct? No holiday party. Okay. Too bad. Yes, it is. <laughs> no holiday. We need a motion item 25. Don't run off yet. We gotta do a roll call. Oh. 
Motion to adjourn. Good. Yes. Second. In a second. In a second. A motion has been made by Commissioner Carol Roberts, <laughs> seconded by Commissioner Ernest Pettiford. This meeting is adjourned. Roll call, Mr. Tebow. Commissioner Roberts. Yes. Commissioner Texera. Yes. Commissioner Trask. Yes. Commissioner Pettiford. Yes. And Mr. Chairman. Yes. Thank you. Well, thank meeting you very much. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank Stay you. safe. Thank you, you too. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye.